Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and I'm kind of hesitant to do this. Um, I feel like I really need Supernova HD Xeon just because I have like solid reverse setups, uh, but I actually don't have Xeon EX Plus. So I'm kind of at a loss when it comes to uh, reverse strength. So I feel like this is fine for me. I literally don't have a single uh, Xeon EX Plus. So again, we're like really low in terms of uh, our reverse strength. So I'm going to I'm thinking about doing five pulls today, and if it if it just doesn't work out in the cards for me, I'll do VIP and then do the rest of the five pulls. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really sure. Um, New Year's is right around the corner, so I don't want to just blow off all my jewels and then just be left with nothing. So let's take a look. I feel like I'll do five today. Yesterday, I actually pulled for my free-to-play account, got Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie in five pulls, so I hope that luck kind of sticks with me today, uh, especially since it's doubled the rate for VIP. Um, and not going to lie, I feel kind of upset about the Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie banner coming back so soon, just because now it comes with VIP coins, which come with, like, the bonus skills, whereas, like, I did my 10, didn't get any bonus skills, and it's just, like, nuts. Like, I could have waited, like, what, a week, two weeks? So, that was kind of upsetting. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead, pull for Supernova HD Xeon. I'll do five if I don't get her. I don't know. I feel like if I don't want to buy VIP, then I'll just have to do all of them. So, let's see. So, for our first pull we've got upright so that's not looking too hot um oh looks like we didn't get anything particularly good oh we got an ava though which is pretty sweet uh we got an ava we've got a maleficent dragon but unfortunately nothing outside of what would be considered like a standard pull because nowadays standard pulls are like the trait metal plus uh tier seven or higher plus uh Plus, like, one additional six-star premium, just because that's how the rate works out. Okay, so we have an upright, so again, not looking too hot right now. Um, oh, we got a few. We got... <laughs> we always get the wrong Xion or the wrong Kyrie. Uh, so we have HD Final Form Sora. We have a seven-star Magician Donald, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we have a Terranort, we have a Mushu 7-star, and we have another Illustrated Xion EX. Not the Xion we're looking for, um, but we've got three more pulls for this video. Let's see if we can whip it out. If we can, that'd be super sweet. I'd save a lot of jewels. I'd really appreciate getting it early, um, and that would just be great. That would honestly, like, save a lot of jewels, and nothing in this game speaks leagues and saving jewels. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got upright. All right, let's hit, it, hit us with the reverse. Oh, there's one. Is that it? Ah, ooh, we got a prime, though. Um, let's see. So, we've got the World Ends With You R2 with 5 max gauge 1. Uh, we have a Tinkerbell. We have the prime, which I don't know if I want to feed into my current prime and get a trade for it, or if I want to leave it separate. Because right now, my prime, Roxas, and Xion doesn't have, like, optimal traits, so I might just feed it. I'm not really sure... If that's like the route I want to go with but we got two more pulls we haven't really pulled anything like substantial or fantastic yet so maybe maybe we just gotta close our eyes because I feel like when I pulled for the Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie on my free-to-play account I wasn't looking I was looking that way and so I'm hoping that when I look at the screen it's just right there it's just right in our face not the trade metal but the actual metal <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. As my little brother would say it, that, my friends, is the no looker. Where apparently luck is just on your side when you're not looking at the screen. Look at all the craziness we got here. We've got a seven star Cypher, which is okay. We got a seven star Illustrated Leon. We got a seven star Tinkerbell. We got a seven star HD Arm of Ericus. And not just one, but two of them. And then, of course, we pulled Supernova, HD Xeon, with whatever, Defense Boost 1 Max, irrelevant, we're going to replace it anyways. We've got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 stars, and then the guaranteed trait medal, like, what in the, what in the craziness is happening right now? So if you're watching this, don't look at your screen when you do pulls, maybe you'll get something good. It was a superstition back in the day to do toilet pulls, and then there was, like, all these other things, you know, that were considered lucky pulls, but this definitely takes the cake this is amazing um this is the right metal right i'm not like tripping i feel like maybe i i just blew up the no looker in my head and i, I might be dreaming right now um but wow we got it 
four poles, VIP, we still did the VIP, so I know that makes it less special, but, like, we got the medal with six poles to spare, so we will just take it, we'll take it and run, not ask any questions, the only other thing that would make this broken is if we got this thing with ground, aerial, extra attack, and strength, that would be it, that's it, that's just game over, like, that's, that is the winning combination, I want to make sure I screenshot this, this is such a fantastic pull, like, I can't get over how great this pull is, like, wow, just so many seven stars like what kind of craziness this is like this is instantly six sub slots filled instantly oh my gosh amazing amazing all right so we get to save some jewels for new year's for whatever they've got cooking for us because you know we're gonna we're definitely gonna do whatever new year's thing they do because of course you know they're gonna do hopefully something for new year's because if or anyone who saw the uh the twitter account all that's coming out tomorrow is just the uh, just the Captain Justice VIP banner, and it's like there's got to be more. There's got to be something. They didn't even include like the uh, golden ticket. They didn't include the gem quest. So there's something coming up on New Year's Day. I'm not really sure what it's gonna be, but we'll find out in roughly like 20-ish hours. So when it hits uh, like 8 p.m. PST, that's usually when they drop the notice for the next day, so we will wait till then, uh, but at this point, we're done. We don't need to draw any more into Supernova HD Xion. We are not even going to touch it with a 10-foot pole, the 10-foot pole, not 10-foot pole, 10 mercy pole, um, that was a bad joke, that was a bad pun, uh, but yeah, we're not even gonna touch it because it's like, at that point, it's not even worth it, like, we are not going to do traits rolling for this, because the biggest part about buffers is that you don't need to do the trait rolls, like, Yes, it's nice to get extra attack on them, but you shouldn't be chasing for that extra attack because if each trait chase is 3,000 jewels, that is a lot of jewels spent for something that could be paralysis resist, and we are not playing that dangerous game. Um, so let's go ahead, lock these guys up so that we have uh, more sub slots to fill. As you can see, I I've been getting kind of lazy uh, with uh, doing my... Doing my tickets, I mean, if, uh, well, that's a different video altogether. That is, that is a whole mess. I've got, like, just a crazy boatload of tickets that I just haven't cashed in because I was feeling super lazy. I got super busy this semester, so we'll do a video for all these guys all at once. Do some math, do some stats, whatever. Um, but that's for a different video. So for now, let's go ahead and trait our Xion, which is just super, super de duper exciting. Uh, let's make sure we lock her, and then... So we've got a total of what four four traits all right so if even one of these is extra attack that is just gonna be broken maybe okay we gotta do the no looker we just gotta not look all right here we go the no looker once more once more here we go drop the extra attack let's go game we can do this Ooh, gauges, gauges. Okay, not extra attack. The color's correct, though. It is orange. Um, okay, so we'll do the two more just looking, and then the last one, we'll have to pull the no-looker because apparently the no-looker is how you get things in this game. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe this is replacing toilet pulls. Who knows? I'm not really sure. Uh, so for our second trait, we've got... Ooh, paralysis resist. Okay, not a good trait, um, but can be helpful in PvP, potentially. So let's go ahead and do the third one. And then we got one more. And again, we are not tracing chase for this. There's no reason to trace chase trait chase traits on this because like I don't know. I feel like it's just not a smart decision. Boom, extra attack. Bam! Aerial. I can deal with that. Aerial is fine, because even though this metal's a buffer, um, it still hits. It still hits really, really hard. So I am okay with that. Alright, here we go. Here we go, fam. We go one more for the no looker. You look that way at my coat that's hanging. Just gonna stare at it, and then they're, we're gonna see extra attack right here. Ooh, not extra attack, but ground. And again, I can deal with that. Um, it's not an attack metal, but again, it does do a lot of damage, so that's okay with me. So we've got aerial ground paralysis, and then max gauges. And again, the point is not the traits right now. The point is that we got the metal, so now we can start wreaking havoc. On other things like uh, where am I in the Colosseum right now so I'm doing poorly in the Colosseum because of the reverse strength it's just killing me right now I don't have Xion EX plus and that's really putting me at a bad disadvantage right now so if we look here wait this is PvP let's go PvE okay 
So really what's putting me at a disadvantage right now is that I don't have the reverse strength to back up uh, this setup. So this is the setup that I've been using for Colosseum. And again, I don't have, uh, I don't have like any good Xion metal. Like I have a bunch of the illustrated Xion EXs, but not Xion EX Plus. So that kind of puts me at a disadvantage. But now what we can do is we can replace, uh, let's see, we can replace that there. And then this should work out a lot better. So these are our current traits. This is our spirit slot right here. I'm not really sure how I feel about the Prime Maleficent, but it does have ground on it. So let's give it a spin just real quick. See how this goes. See if we can start bumping up our Coliseum rank. Because as long as we hit that 2,500, we're getting five extra of each gem. So that can be very, very hefty for us. So let's take a look. And then the uh, Prime Rocks, this is just there because it's going to help with the uh, reverse strength down. So let's see. Okay, it didn't hit for anything, pretty much. But maybe I should have actually... Actually, in hindsight, I should have activated the Supernova first. That would have made a lot more sense. Um, so if we're able to clear this in one turn, then we're just going to keep moving on in the Coliseum. Ooh, okay. I actually don't know if we'll be able to. Maybe I need to... First of all, I need to replace that uh, Attack Boost 4 Max, because that's not really doing it for us. Um, okay, so we did not clear it in one turn. So I'm going to have to do some tweaking. Because we definitely want to hit that spot because we're not too far away. We can like upgrade our fairy stars. We can do more sub slot stuff. Uh, so there's a few things we could tweak in the one day we have left in this month so that we can climb up to that 2,500 spot. Uh, but for right now, that's the video for now. Let's pull up uh, Illustrated. I'm not that Illustrated. Uh, Supernova. HD Xion once more. Four pulls. So good. So fantastic. I'm super hyped for this. Thank you to the No Looker for giving us this fantastic medal. All right, with that being said, that's the video for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them down in the comments below, and I would be happy to answer them when I have the time. But as always, everyone, until the next video, take it easy.